in uh, Pennsylvania, and he thought that um, voting uh, in the way that you have described was, was dangerous. This is what he um, has said on Twitter. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but for the benefit of our viewers who can't, the Supreme Court decision on voting in Pennsylvania is a very dangerous one. It will allow rampant and unchecked cheating and will undermine our right. entire system of laws. It will also induce violence in the street. Something must be done. Um, is that a particularly presidential tweet? Absolutely, and he is he is completely correct. Real quick, uh, before I let Sebastian Gorka here get to his smackdown of this propagandist, it really just goes to show how these media narratives, they continue over across the pond in another country's media. It's completely insane. All for the last few months, last five to six months, has been nonstop left-wing violence by groups like BLM and Antifa who don't hide who they are, and are very open about their goals. Their anti-media have attacked journalists and reporters, but they cover all that up, and they, uh, in order for them to push forward this completely fake, false narrative that it's Trump supporters that are going to go out and riot if the election doesn't go their way. Okay, all these businesses are boarded up because of left wingers, not right wingers. Let's continue. I'm not sure how being concerned about violence is an incitement to violence. That's a very perverse way of looking at things, especially after the last 10 months, when it is left-wing Democrat voters from Portland to Seattle to Baltimore to DC that have created arson, havoc, and looting yes. to the cost of more than $3 billion to small business owners. So, you know, the reason that DC is boarded up, walk down the DC today, Kay, and look at the shops that have been boarded up. It looks like Beirut. And why are shop owners painting on the, the chip board that has boarded up their shops, Black Lives Matter, if not to placate the radical left? Exactly. It's not, it's not the Trump supporters maybe, that are, that maybe, are, the Trump maybe supporters it's, that are going to Maybe it's to because they think now. that Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Can you believe that? She just said that these businesses are putting up BLM on their businesses because they believe that black lives matter. Listen, nobody out there besides a fringe few people think that black lives don't matter. They're putting BLM on their stores to placate the organization BLM, which is completely separate from the phrase black lives matter. Okay, this is well established. We all know this. But it's like, uh, are these reporters really this ignorant? Are they playing dumb? I don't know. She claims ignorance, as you're about to see. Just watch this. No, it's because they want to make sure that they're not the ones who have their shops burnt to the ground. Come <laughs> exactly. on, show a bit of common sense, please. <laughs> Okay. If it, was, um, what about if, when... it were, if it were Trump supporters that, that were the threat, they'd be saying MAGA on the shop fronts, and they're not. So the violence has been normalized by the left, and it is a disgrace. Okay, what about um, Trump telling the far-right group, the Proud Boys, to stand back and stand by? How should we interpret that? Hold on, real quick. Exactly. I, 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 real quick. They mangle. What is it with Trump quotes in the media where they just completely mangle it? Okay, when Trump said it, I kind of cringed. But uh, he said, stand down, stand by, not stand back. And they, they always get that wrong. But as Gork is going to point out here, he was telling them not to do anything. And I'm, I'm going to get into that some more. But let, let's, uh, let's go through this here real quick. Exactly as he said it. Don't take action. Uh, but to stand by? <laughs> stand back, stand down, stand by and wait. No, he didn't exactly say stand down. He, he said stand by, didn't he? Stand by means Do you know what the He said stand are? down. Can you tell me what they are? Uh, tell me about it. Tell me, tell me what no, they mean you, to you. No, you tell me. What up? No, you tell me. No, no, I'm the interviewer. <laughs> you no, tell no. me what they no, no. mean to you. You raised it. You raised it. So tell me why you're asking me. Uh, I'm asking you because it's a far-right organization as far as uh, I am aware. <laughs> Incorrect. Um, and Incorrect. they are... Do you know, do you know Real quick, I just want to point out how the media, something that you can look for, I talk about patterns you can look for, and there have been studies to back this up, but the media uses the term far right, right winger, um, extreme right, uh, those kind of phrases, they use those with abundance. If they want to uh, discredit an organization or their political opposition, somebody that's maybe uh, uh, bringing up information that the Democrats don't want their voters to hear about, they'll just demonize those people as far right. What you will never hear them say, or very rarely, are left-wing 
far left, liberal, communist, socialist, Marxist. They don't use any of these terms. Very, very rarely. And if you do find it, it's in print media. And this group, what makes them far right? Who knows? What what violence have the Proud Boys committed? I don't know. The only thing I know about is that they've gotten in fights with violent communist mobs. That's about it. Uh, other than that, as far as I know, uh, they haven't done anything and haven't threatened to do anything. But let's continue. Do you know who runs okay. the Proud Boys? Please, do you know who runs please, the please, Proud Boys? I, I, I'm a completely black, ignorant of them. Black. Please tell me all about them. Well, that's that's a real indictment of, of Sky News, that you are ignorant about the organization you are asking me to comment on live. The Proud yes. Boys okay. is run by a black <laughs> Cuban-American. So how would that be far right? Okay, so you, you don't feel that they are a far right organization? <laughs> uh, a You're far right organization wouldn't be run by a black Cuban American now, would it, Kay? <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, and I'm glad that you are me your you view know. on that. I'm sure I that my view, you know. I'm I sure that you know. my viewers will I make their, you know. view, uh, their view. All right, well, we just went through that video and I, I found it highly entertaining. Gorka pointed out several glaring problems with this. This reporter doesn't know anything about the Proud Boys, but just calls them far right as a boogeyman to use as a cudgel, as a weapon against Trump, his supporters, his uh, his spokespeople in the media. They don't know that all the violence that's going on out there right now, all the violence being threatened, is being threatened by left-wing groups, by far-left Democrat voters. It's not Trump supporters going out there threatening violence or committing any violence. The media rages and, and freaks out about Trump vehicles being on the road with a Biden bus, literally just driving down the road with a Biden bus. They freak out about that. But five months of nonstop violence, killing, threats, intimidation of just regular innocent people out on the streets, uh, taking away their right to travel by blocking highways, that's all been done by left-wingers, not right-wingers. I mean, she didn't even know the exact quote that Trump said. She even told uh, Sebastian Gorka, he didn't say that, he didn't say stand down. He absolutely said stand down. The fact of the matter is, and we all know it's true, if Biden wins tonight, there's not gonna be any violence. Trump supporters aren't gonna commit any violence. You know what we'll do? We'll suck it up and we'll do better next time. And we'll hold their feet to the fire uh, 50 times what they did to us in return. But what we won't do is commit any violence. You know what's gonna happen? If there's any violence, it's gonna be committed by left-wingers if Trump wins. Maybe even if Biden wins, they may still riot and uh, protest. So anyway, just wanted to quickly get that video out and comment a little bit on it. Uh, I wanna remind you all that tonight we'll be hanging out in my Discord, uh, chatting, uh, watching election coverage. So I welcome you, invite you to come and join us. Uh, I may also do some Discord live streaming. I'm not sure yet. Tons of people already out there doing it. But uh, come and hang out with us. It should be a good time no matter what. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Keep coming back.